welcome to another tutorial from masterandroid.net today we will talk about rating bar so the rating bar is an android uh, rating bar can be used to get the rating from the user so the rating returns a float number the float number be, would be 2, 2.5, 3.5, 4 and etc there are a lot of methods that can be used by the rating bar so the get rating methods of Android rating bar class the returns the rating number. So we will use the, the get rating and other methods in the in this video. So the customization or initialization of rating bar would be in form of this code and uh, the rating would be as a string or a number. So let's start coding. First of all, we are going to make a progress bar uh, or sorry, rating bar, drag and drop in the main activity. And let's uh, make our uh, constraint layout. Okay. So uh, when increasing this layout, there are uh, a lot of uh, stars would be appear. But the number of stars would be limited to uh, to a number that can, could be defined in the main activity. So uh, remember, this is our ID rating bar. Let's go to the main activity and start initialization of rating bar. So rating bar. Rating bar, we uh, bar we will find it by uh, view ID or find view by ID, and this is our rating bar ready to be used. So concerning the number of uh, of stars, we will see all uh, attributes, and uh, we can put here the rating and, and uh, in XML so we will uh, show you how to configure all uh, rating bar uh, attributes attributes to uh, in uh, main activity or Java method so rating bar dot set maximum and there are or set number of uh, stars would be 10 so when increasing your uh, activity uh, you're increasing your uh, rating bar limits and, it, and borders it will increase also and also the percentage will increase also so returning to five stars I will uh, use in this uh, example the five stars five stars So set the uh, uh, rating bar setting the, the there uh, are a lot of methods we can use here. We can use set on uh, rating change listener or uh, whenever the bar uh, or rating is changed we can uh, add a listener like a bottom listener or uh, or click listener so uh, in this video i will show you uh, how to make a simple uh, app also uh, getting the uh, the rating from the user so uh, let's see that the setting number of stars would be a set number stars methods method and set rating we can we use this methods method when uh, we want to set the value of rating remember the value of rating would be float and it should be float because you can uh, uh, put if uh, 3.5 and the decimal numbers when using float numbers but you can't 
use uh, decimal numbers when using int values or other values so let's start playing with codes we will add a button that when the user click it when the user click it it will display the rating inside the rating bar so imagine we have five stars and uh, we've got the rating a uh, rating three over five when I click this button, it will display a toast having the rating inside this rating bar. Okay, this is example. It will display uh, your rating uh, should be 3.5 over, over 5 or 4.5 over 5, whatever. So, think about it. First of all, we will create a button. Let's create a button. Just a drag and drop a button. Let's put uh, get rating, the title of a uh, button. And we will start. Let's first initialize uh, our uh, button. Let's import uh, the package and the class, sorry. So we are going to put or handle the uh, the button click event. So we need the user to click this button and this the, the app will display the rating as a toast message. Let's make set on click listener. Okay, in order to display the rating inside uh, the, the toast, we need to create a float number or a string. So, the string can be used to get uh, the toast message. String have, it could be numbers, uh, uh, and alphabet uh, letters or whatever so uh, let's see I will show you that the string could not uh, uh, or the rating bar returns a float or returns a number not a string so let's uh, try making string it will display an error so first of all let's get the number a total number of stars Total number of stars would not be a string, but I will show you exactly what I mean. 
So here, Android Studio return F uh, told us that it would be an int. So we will change a string to an int. So uh, you can configure and depends on uh, Android Studio for uh, making the correct value or returning the correct values. So here Android Studio tells it told us that that the rating bar or the number of stars would not be a string. And later on, we will see on next tutorials that uh, that uh, are many objects, many uh, cases. The Android Studio will help you defining and returning the exact value. So here we can receive an int value of rated value. But imagine we uh, the user uh, uh, rated us uh, three point five. It will would not return the rated value as a string or an int. It will return it as a float. But we are not customizing customizing the, the rating bar dot get rating as a float. So it will return only three in case of int. In case of string, there is an error. So again, Android Studio sh tell us that it should be float number. Let's customize it as a float number. Everything is working good. So now let's try our message, making our message. This uh, toast uh, will display the the value, the total number, or uh, the the rated value over the total number of stars. Total number of stars we defined them in the at the beginning of our code as five, but the rated value would uh, would be received and slash the total number of stars. Your rating dot. Plus, watch out here. In order to display the numbers or a value of a variable inside the toast, we should make a plus before it. And we need a backslash. A backslash also will display that over. This means over. So the rated value over the total number of stars. Imagine your code. This is the correct type or the correct method to display a value over a value. Remember, use plus whenever you need to display the variable and use between quotations where there is a static Thing you need to display well, either a backslash over or a percent or whatever you want to display let's see let's run and check for errors by the way I am making a new tutorial how to uh, uh, make uh, side sync emulators or running uh, side sync on computers so the rating is working good. Let's see 4.5. It's working fine. 4.5 over 5. It is rated. Let's see 1. It's working very good. It's good. Thank you for watching. Keep us making new tutorials and subscribe now.